Hey Cancer, welcome to my channel. This is your, sorry, um, my voice is still a little bit rusty. Um, this is your next 24 hours reading, Cancer. <clears throat> I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good, Cancer. This reading, it's for you. Oh God, <laughs> your card is just a little bit everywhere. Let us see what is happening towards you guys. What is the message that it's meant for you to know, ready for you to know? This is for the sign of cancer, okay? <clears throat> Before I start, I would like to thank you guys for being here. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. And if you would like to further connect with me, I would like to invite you guys to also follow us on our new channel it's the next 24 hours channel so if you want to connect with us on a daily basis please also um be part of that channel so this is your next 24 hours reading or your weekend reading let us see what is the message for oh good news <clears throat> ace of pentacles the page of wands ace of pentacles the temperance card the ten of wands uh, you have the Justice card and the Five of Swords. Okay, let's get you one card for your overall energy. Let's get you one card for your overall energy. This is for Cancer. Next 24 hours reading. What can I get for Cancer, please? What's the message for Cancer next 24 hours or the weekend reading? Three of Wands. <clears throat> Um, so for some of you, three of wands, I'm getting, you need to plan ahead. Um, this could be regarding travel. It could be, it could be bigger than travel. It could be anything that you are looking into the next three weeks, the next three months. Now, it's kind of advising you to really plan ahead. Um, I feel like it's something big. It could be a move, it could be a purchasing something, it could be rearranging something in your life, logistically for some of you guys. Um, but this is something that you need to plan ahead because there's, you know, there's a lot of things to consider or people to include. Or for some of you, I'm also picking up some rules. It could have, it, it's changing. So plan ahead and plan, um, Make sure that you keep checking the rules because it's it's changing the rate the rules and also if um if people will be involved in here i keep checking them because they might say yes today but in the actual um travel or date or event make sure that make sure that this person kind of rsvp or that um you know make sure that they they pay you up front you know, because you might pay on behalf of someone and then little did you know, they won't, you know, you need to really confirm, most especially if you are the organizer, okay? So that's that. <clears throat> okay, now let's pick up more intuitive message for you, Cancer. You've got the page of wands. I feel like there's a good news coming to you this weekend. It's coming for, it's coming from a younger fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, Queen of Wands, okay? Um, I feel like this person, Cancer, this person will connect to you. And then, it's a good news that this person is connecting, communicating with you. But further than that, there's more good news. And I feel like if you allow this person to... Um, I feel like they would like to, you know, move further with whatever offer or suggestions or whatever shared energy um, you have with this person, they would like to go further. So, um, I feel like they would spill all of the details of the good news, um, all of it, um, next week. But it's, it's a good news. That's just one of the many and the full... Um, they, this person could meet you face to face and tell you everything about the good news. And I think you would be excited to know or be included or be part of this good news, okay? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> mm -hmm. 
Now, you have an Ace of Pentacles in here. I feel like if someone, if someone owes you money, uh, this person will pay you. Yeah, Knight of Wands. And the Hierophant card and the Three of Cups. So, there's something to celebrate um, this month because there is a money coming towards you, a payment, an increase of money. And I feel like this money has been owed to you for quite some time now. And you never expected you'd get it or you never expected that you get it sooner than later. So there's money coming or if it's not an actual monetary, financial money, it could be, you could be given something, a property, a project, something that would allow you to generate money or to connect you with more financially stable energy or um, project. So this is really good. And I feel like it's long term and I feel like it's recurring for some of you guys. Okay? So good news about money, financial matters. I don't know, maybe it's a second job. Maybe your business would go steady that you have to quit 8 to 5 job. You're looking into quitting your 8 to 5 job in the immediate future. So this is really good. Now, <clears throat> if you look at the higher fun card, there's like a moon. So keep it secret. Keep it low key, lay low. <clears throat> the money or the, I don't know, the this, um, this offer because I don't know, some, there's some people who might jinx this offer or might be jealous and they might copy you so you might have a competition so give it hush hush and secret now you've got a temperance card in here I feel like you're waiting for um, someone to connect with you emotionally it, it's possible um, cancer that you are it's possible that you're talking to them but they're not opening up to you emotionally their feelings the message for you is keep talking you know the eight of cups um, because if you also hold back because you are emotional you're good when it comes to connecting emotionally so keep talking because you you will encourage this person to open up because if you stop you know like set yourself example so keep talking keep connecting emotionally if because eventually this person will you'll be able to go through them and they will some people are not good when it comes to representing their feelings some people are more actions um, you're really good when it comes to contextualizing verbalizing your feelings the person that you're dealing with is not so if you give up then they will never learn how to connect emotionally and I'm really getting like this is the reason why <clears throat> you were you were connected with this person is to there's some learnings that they would get from you is to connect emotionally so keep talking they'll eventually learn how to connect emotionally towards you I feel like this is love okay because if you if you walk away then you know it's it's just shame if you walk away because you know you're gonna lose the, the the juicy side of the connection like it's just getting better yeah you know don't give up now I'm really getting like this is not the time to give up this is the time you give you know full of whatever you can give to the connection relationship <clears throat> now <clears throat> sorry guys I'm still struggling with my voice you've got a ten of wands okay ten of wands you have a king of swords you could be dealing with Aries Leo Sagittarius uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. Um, so in the next two weeks, there is some sort of, I'd say, a choker to your schedule. Um, there's a lot of invitation coming through. There's a lot of schedule. There's a lot of things that will keep you so busy and also wanting to attend um, certain events, maybe interviews for some of you a lot of interesting invite so keep i mean like you don't have to say yes to all of it like i'm i'm picking up in here maybe you're gonna say yes to all of it and it's gonna be a back-to-back -back, you know planning scheduling 
for a day you might attend free that's like a choker you know so try to negotiate to meet and greet or schedule um, one event maybe one interview one thing at a time one day like one event one schedule in it you know at a time because you might feel burned out and you might cancel last minute and you might lose opportunity I feel like in the next two weeks it's really amazing opportunity coming your way so reschedule if you can okay <clears throat> they're fine if you reschedule they will be fine <clears throat> You've got the justice card in here. Oh, wow. You're gonna get cancer. You're gonna get an apology. There is a lover undercover. <laughs> Five of swords. I feel like for some of you, this could be long distance, but there is a lover. Uh, there's a romantic connection in here and you had a big misunderstanding, um, a big fight. It could also be a friend, but it's like a male and a female. And um, I feel like they're coming towards you pretty much after the full moon to express to you um, how sorry they are, how immature, five of swords, you know, how immature they are with the way they reacted or acted, reacted or acted. So someone's going to say sorry, someone's going to explain, someone's going to admit something. It's a bit emo emotional. I feel like your role to play in here is to listen because you will feel their sincerity and you will feel that there's something has changed with this person because they're taking accountability okay so this is your reading thank you so much cancer for coming back thank you so much for being here thank you so much for supporting the channel and it's a pleasure doing the reading to you guys sorry for my voice I'm quite fine it's just I'm it's still a little bit raspy, but I'm feeling okay. And that's all what I have for you. And I'll see you soon, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.